New year, new show? Not necessarily. Here's a familiar face that may of you, many of you may recognize, our social media guru, Gavin Shaw. Gavin, welcome back, man. I really appreciate it, Alex. So all three of us are seniors, and that comes with a certain veteran savvy. And I want to share that savvy with the younger generations. In that interest, our first tweet comes from a freshman. Riley Richardson, new Arizona State women's basketball player. She's, oh, we're going we're gonna to pass her, go on to Quinn Johnson, talking about Todd Graham. Uh, she actually ran into Todd, and Todd started telling her about his wife's new car, $150,000. And guys, I just think this is a long-winded analogy for Arizona State football. Obviously, the car is Arizona State, the garage being Texas Tech, and Arizona State's just trying to back out of Sun Devil Stadium without Patrick Mahomes dropping five touchdowns and 500 yards on them. That's a solid analogy, and I'll give you props for that one. But a little note, in fact, that people might not know about Penny Graham. Her car may be worth $150,000. But I would argue her cookies are as well. At least that's via the ASU radio crew who apparently get homemade cookies for every single home broadcast. Ethics. Yeah, so a lesson to all the young broadcasters out there. If you make it to the top, you get cookies. <laughs> I don't know what kind of car that is, but uh, when I was in high school, I drove a minivan. It was sweet. I don't even know how to drive, Alex. Uh, <laughs> uh, second tweet. Oh, now we got Riley. Uh, she's talking about her early experience as a freshman. Were you at class? Where are you at the gym? She's, she's doing all these things. Guys, these are all foreign experiences for me. I've gone to maybe three or four classes over the last four years. Haven't been to the gym once. I know my body's deceiving, but it just hasn't happened for me yet. Has this been a different experience for you guys at Arizona State so far? I mean, slightly. I hit the gym every now and then, but when I think about my undergraduate uh, time at ASU, I was on the Tempe campus. That's a little bit different than down here. Would you agree? Uh, no, I will say my freshman experience was one where I had really big eyes and I wanted to do everything possible. I was going to the gym, I was going to every class, I was buying every single book that I had to. I still do that, but that we won't tell our people uh, upstairs that. All right, so different levels of scholastic standards for Cronkite Sports Live talent. Third and final tweet <laughs> from Christian Sam back in 2013, otherwise known as the time when Northwest was just the way you got to Seattle. Christian Sam uh, sharing some disdain for Texas Tech three years ago before he even stepped on Arizona State campus. Same they were going to win this game. Guys, he's not even playing Saturday, so he's not going to get a chance to back that talk up. Yeah, and Christian Sam not playing this weekend is a huge loss for ASU. They're already banged up in the secondary. They take on a Texas Tech offense that's prolific. Without their best linebacker, I said it, best linebacker in Christian Sam, it's going to be a really tough test for them, and I'm not sure if he's going to be able to back those words up. That's a bold claim. I mean, maybe he's Nostradamus. He could predict the future. I want to know something, though. He had very specific instructions. Save this tweet. Did you save it? Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we saved it. Oh, yeah. good, good. Yeah, I think, I think <laughs> regardless of how injured he is, I think Christian's just, he, even if he has to come out there on crutches, I think he has to live up to those words. That's true. All right, Gavin, well, thanks so much for joining us. All semester long, you'll be getting a look at the most memorable moments from Sun Devil social media.